uh, hi guys uh, welcome to my channel for another video uh, if you have not seen my previous video so please check the description and click on the link to uh, see the video hi friends in our previous video we did able to view the count of the items in signed in user using session uh, in this video what we are going to do uh, we are going to display all the items that user added to their cart okay so when user click on this what it will do uh, it will have a another page and listed down all the items uh, that is in the cart okay so uh, let me show you the demo what i mean okay so here uh, you do see i have a 12 items over here right so when i going to click on this icon over here right what it will do uh, it will bring a all the items over here that i added in this card okay so this is the username and this user have all this item in the card and okay friends uh, let's go ahead and build this space uh, from scratch open your visual studio stop the project open our card controller okay uh, we need to create a view model for our card index right type here card i'll go add a view model here okay let's go to our view model folder it is here right here so right click on it add click on class i'll put card index view model okay add it so here should be public what we need here we need a list of the products right so i'll put prop double tap change the type to i enumerable and that should be product type okay i'll say product list okay we will go ahead and get back to our card controller again and in our card controller right uh here we here we will check if user is signed in or not to do that type bar plain equal to sign in manager is signed in i'll type user and then here i'll do a if condition claim true i'll get the user id here bar user id equal to underscore user manager dot get user id so i stored user id over here i will create a object for card index view model card index view model equal to card index view model right here i will get uh, all the card items and store under product list okay to do that what i'm going to do product list equal to underscore db user cards dot i will include our product table u goes to u dot product dot where u goes to u dot user id dot contains dot to list okay uh, so friends you do see here showing error because this product list type is product but here we are getting all the items from user cards right and then what we have to do we have to change the type for product list so let's go back to our card index and here type user card okay now go back to our card controller and now you do see we do not have error so here i'll go put a comma again all right so now we so far done uh we need to send this to our view right so then we can use this data to display so here what i'm going to do i'm gonna type return so we are returning here this card index view model and let's say if user is not signed in then we'll only return this view okay all right so friends what we have to do now we have to go ahead and create a view for our card index to do that right click on it click on add view click on add 
keep the name as card index add it here i'm going to go ahead and re remove all this line i'll go ahead and copy the code and paste it here okay uh, pasting the code over here so let me explain what all this about here right so here we are adding our card index v model reference over here right and then we are checking if our model is empty or not with the product list as we you know loaded this product list from our card controller over here right and then here now we using uh for each loop to you know get all the products that this user have okay so here let me run this project i'll go log into our system submit it now you can see i have a five items here and we did have implement the view to see the list of the product that this user have i'm clicking on it so now you can see the details of these five products right you can see the dry cake over here the user have about five of them and the each price is 499 you can see this rice the user about i mean user added one of them over here and then the price is 12.99 and also oh you know and also the rest of the products over here so uh, let me go ahead and add one more item here let's add it this one once i add it right you, you do see this add to cart function right we did implement on um, video number 24 if you didn't seen it yet right please go watch that tutorial as well so then you will learn the technique how to add uh item to our cart so click on continue and now you do see the six items right click on that and the new items is over here so friends uh, here you do see the plus sign and then the minus sign what it means that if you if user click on plus then they will able to add this item from five to six right so they can add they can add by clicking over here they can remove it by clicking from here and they can remove this for this item from the cart right uh, let me go ahead and uh, explain this view here right uh, let's open this view cstml file so here we are using our uh, css class from our css folder if you see my previous video you should know what it is okay and then here we are adding a table right and this table is striped with the border and it is dark okay and then uh, we giving some pretty s so then you know uh, it will show shadow on the uh, on the card and then here uh, this is the header the header means if i open this so now this is called header of the table okay and then this is the data or the body okay so let me minimize it again uh, okay so here uh, we're using for each loop right and then this is the tier means is the table row and then the table under this table row we have the table data right uh, this is for image data right this is for our product name and then this is for the for uh, this plus minus and then the uh, description over here right so you can see image product name and description okay so here inside what we are did uh, we create a row right inside row we created three column right there this three column right here and then here we have fs fa plus this is the font awesome right and uh, it, will, it is showing icon the plus icon and then this anchor tag we will go ahead and add asp action which is add to cart right and then the controller is cart and when we are calling add to call we are also passing product id make sure this product id is in the parameter of asp uh, add to controller okay and you do see here asp route return uh here i put yes because you know when user routing from this side from this space we want user to be on this space when they able to add the item to their card okay so and then on the bottom of that you can see we have a item dot quantity and then the item dot product price okay and uh here you can see we use font also minus icon right when user click on that icon what it will do it will uh, remove a item from our cart okay so we'll go ahead and implement this minus item in our next video okay so uh, let me go ahead and uh, show you one more thing here so uh, uh, we need to include this parameter right in our add to cart function so then user 
when they click on the uh, plus sign it will add that item and then return to the same page okay so friends let's go to our card controller here and then here you do see we have a parameter for product id i'll go click on a stop visual studio and then here i'll type a string what we put it there return url copy this in copy it get back to card controller again put it there make it nullable and then here all the bottom right i'll check one condition if return url not equal to null i need to redirect to card index base copy this paste it here change it to card index and here type card controller okay uh, so friends uh, what we did now if user add an item from our card index view using this plus sign right so then it will add the item to our card and then it will return to our card index space because we have parameter here return url and we set it as a yes so when it is routing so it knows that we are coming from a card index space and then we need to return back to card index so let me open that view right here i put let's say when user click on over here on this plus icon right and i put the return url yes it's mean i want user to be come to on this page again all right so now here we have a remove a uh, item we'll implement this in our next video right and then here you can see uh the trash can right uh, that when user click on trash then the then a one unique item uh, will get deleted from uh curved okay and then here if you see let me make it bigger uh this is for submitting the request to create an order right and if there is no item in the cart it will display this message okay so let me run the project again and then explain how things are working okay so we are signed in now so let we have currently six items over here i'll go add one more item i'll go click on okay friends you do see uh it didn't add it i think we already have this item in our cards let us check first you see we already have this item in our card uh it was previously one now it uh increased to two let's add another item let's do add this one click continue check our cart we do have now seven items and this is the new items we just added and now i'm gonna go and check if this function is working or not okay so i'll go ahead i'll go ahead Put a debug point here again make it a smaller i'll click on add here and now you do see we stop over here and then from here i can see it said yes so that means it will go into here and redirect to redirect us to our card index okay so let's go ahead continue and you see we are on our card index page and now you can see item is two item over there okay so let's thank you for watching the video see you in the next tutorial Please do share, like, and subscribe the channel. Thank you. Bye.